if you're looking to buy coins from a cheap and reliable seller, be sure to check out FIFA Ninja in the description down below. And don't forget to use the discount code. You know what it is by now, Fetch. That's right, Fetch. It's in the description. Welcome back today to another Drunk Times with Finchy Boy. Da -dun 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 -da 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 -dun. Fetch. So, before we jump into this, if you want to see a legend per goal wager tomorrow with face cam, let's try and get this video to 6,000 likes. I know you can do it because we've been going fucking ham on the likes recently. So let's smash those fucking likes, my little finches, because we are the finches, not the failures. So, we're going to be doing, well, we're going to be talking about probably what was the worst night of my life, but the funniest night the following day. It was absolutely fucking hilarious. I swear to you. Oh my god. Right, now, if you've been around for a while, you'd have known previously on Another Drunk Times, uh, I have a friend that, he gets a bit funky when he gets drunk. So, uh, he, he was the one that did that. That sort of shit, right? So, um, if you didn't know what happened, basically, a couple of New Years ago, he was laying in the street going, and shit like that. So, um, he flew out to LA a little bit later after we did and uh, he met us out there. Now, the week before, me and my friend, we met these girls in a bar and they invited us to a house party, right? Now, one of them, well, none of them were really that great. Uh, like, you know, they were, they were all right. They, they, they weren't fantastic. But, you know, one of our friends tried to, you know, try it on with me and we gave her the, the finchy head scruff. I really wish I recorded this fucking moment, but I actually didn't plan on doing it at the time. So I'm gonna reenact it with you on my fucking dog. So if you're ever in a sticky situation like this and you don't know what to do, I'm about to show you. It's probably one of the harshest things, but it was funny as fuck at the time. Let's go. Okay, right, so in this situation, I don't remember what was said to me, but I just went, <laughs> That's so funny! And I <laughs> To disable all sexual tension, it was it was what the perfect move, the perfect move. But nevertheless, um what we did, we uh, she was like to us, well what are you doing? Well have what like the main one of their group was like, well what are you doing uh next week for Halloween? And we were like, well, Nah, we don't really have any plans. Why? Well, you know, what did you have in mind? She was like, oh, well, we're going to a house party if you want to come. And I thought, oh, shit. An American fucking house party. So me and my friend both agreed to go. And uh, we decided to go to this house party now. So we've arrived. And uh, it's not really like, I don't know. Everyone was like all fancy, like dressed up and all that sort of shit. Um, and all I did, I just bought a pair of tits from the fucking Halloween shop. If you haven't seen me on Instagram, be sure to follow me on Instagram and you can check them out down there. Um, but yeah, pretty much I just, that's all I wore. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not really one for dressing up. So we went there um, and it was okay. You know, it wasn't really like that very, it wasn't that lively or anything like that. Um, but we were chatting away to all these American people and shit and it was quite fun actually like the people there were really nice and whatnot um, We were just chatting away, you know drinking having a good time and shit and then all of a sudden right this fucking this American girl comes out and she's gone to her friend, oh, one of the English guys is going a bit crazy, and I thought, oh, really? I looked at my friend, I looked around to see where my friends were. I looked at my friend, my friend looked at me, and uh, we gave each other this look as if to say, no oh, shit, we know who it is. And it was, we were like, fuck, we have to go and see what he's doing. So now my friend has gone to get him, and my friend said to me that the first thing he saw was his arms around this girl, and he was going, like trying to hump her and shit, going, Oh, come on, man. Oh, come on. Like whispering in her ear and shit. I was, oh, I was fucking cracking up when he told me that. So anyway, um, he's like trying to like hump her and all this sort of shit. Um, and bearing in mind he has a girlfriend, so he shouldn't really be doing this sort of stuff. If his girlfriend ever found out, it wouldn't end very well for him. So I'm not going to mention his name just in case she does ever watch this. There's no solid evidence that it trails back to him. So, um... My friend has took him outside now and I've seen him and he's like fucking stumbling everywhere. He fell down the stairs. Um, oh, actually, I forgot fucking the girl that he was humping. Her brother was standing right fucking next to him as well. I was like, fuck, he could have got smacked in the head or something. But luckily the guy was okay about it. Um, but yeah, he fell down the stairs and shit. We were like, right, we need to get him home before he gets beaten up. But the amount of knocks to his head that he fucking took, he might as well have got beaten up anyway. He got absolutely fucked. 
So after taking about 20 knocks to his head, right, he's fucking slumped on the floor right now and he's just about, like, he can't even move. We're, we're slapping him, trying to get him to wake up and shit. And I asked my friend how many drinks he had. He goes, I don't know, about six. Six fucking drinks. What the fuck? So he's slumped and like laying there like, uh, and then I goes, oh, I'm going to go upstairs and call him a cab. So I've gone upstairs now and all I hear is, ah! Are you okay? Oh, no. Why? I was like, what the fuck is this shit? I thought it was like some demon cow or some fucking rhino or some shit i was like what the fuck my this american guy was like to me the hell is that i, was, I have no idea then all i hear is i'm angry ooh, ooh, ooh. i was in fucking hysterics i was like oh shit it's my friend no really so um Basically, he's tried squaring up to my friend and like I, my friend was like, well, what, what are you going to do? And then he just went, oh, 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 and I like, put this sad face on and fucking dropped to the floor. I was like, what the fuck? So anyway, he's got up now, like after a little while, we went downstairs, he's got up. And uh, what, well, we had to pick him up because he can just about stand and he's gone to this girl. Hey, hey, come in. Let me work your body. I don't know where the fuck he got this bar from, but that's some like Usher or 50 Cent shit right there. Let me work your body. That's 50, top 50 R&B love songs or something. I don't even know where he got that fucking shit from, but oh, let me work your fucking arm. <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh my God. So anyway, he was going on about it and uh, like going on trying to like pull these girls and all this sort of shit. And uh, we called this cab and now it's pissing down like really fucking hard at this point. And I've gone to him, come on man, get the fuck in the cab. So I like sort of shoved him a little bit and my friend let him, I don't know why my friend let him go, but I shoved him just to sort of like try and wake him up. And he's just dropped back into this puddle like bang, slap, laying there like, and it's, pretty fucking deep like he's covered in it he could have drowned in it you know um so he's laying there like arms and legs in the air like some turtle that you just flipped upside down and he's going ooh, ooh. and we're going to get the fuck up so we tried pulling him up and shit and he's not moving, absolutely not moving. No cab would take him, no cab would take him. He's trying to molest every fucking girl there. I was like, no, oh, really, he's working the body. He's fucking, I don't even know what he was doing. Yeah, work, ah, fuck you, all this sort of shit. Ah, it was just too much, too much to handle. And they were like, ah, oh, you can stay with us, you can stay with us, blah, blah, blah. And in the end, we managed to get him in a cab. My friend got, <laughs> I stayed at the party, my friend got him home, and um, basically, he got him upstairs into the bathroom. We've like, my friend pushed him, and he's basically just, my friend went, he just looked at him and just went, boom, and just dropped straight on the floor, and that was it. He was slumped for the rest of the night. He banged his head on the corner of the bath, and that was him done. <laughs> he woke up the next morning, didn't know where the fuck he was, and he had no idea what had happened. It was the most hilarious shit. Seriously, oh my, it was so fucking funny. And when we told him, oh yeah, he, he worked the body, he was like, oh no man, he's like, oh my girlfriend, oh. it was fine. If his girlfriend ever finds out, he's gonna be in a lot of shit, but hopefully she don't. It was absolutely fucking hilarious. And then on top of that, the few nights later, this was his first night with us, I forgot to mention that. A few nights after that, he even did some more funky shit. He's bouncing around going, juice, juice, juice. Juice, juice. But you'll see that we recorded that shit and you actually get to see him work the fucking body. It was absolutely hilarious. But that's the end of today's Drunk Times with Finch. Finch. Fucking hell. 
Thanks for watching, and I shall see you tomorrow. <sighs> Hopefully with the legend per goal wager. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Smash the likes, and I shall see you soon, my little finches. Goodbye.